the city of Sodom was a place of darkness. People there did many wicked things, turning away from God one day, God saw the evil and decided it was time to bring judgment upon the city. But there was one man, Lot, who still followed God. Lot lived in Sodom with his family. God in his mercy sent two angels to warn Lot and save him before the destruction would begin. Late in the evening, the angels arrived at Lot's house. Lot welcomed them in and gave them a meal. But the people of the city had seen the angels and soon a crowd gathered outside Lot's house. They shouted, demanding that Lot bring out the strangers so they could harm them. Lot stepped outside, trying to protect his guests. Please, he begged. Don't do such a wicked thing. The crowd grew angrier, and it seemed like there was no way out. But the angels acted quickly, pulling Lot back inside and striking the men outside with blindness, so they couldn't find the door. Then, the angels turned to Lot and said, We are here to destroy this city. Get your family and leave now. Lot rushed to his sons-in-law and told them about the angels' warning, but they didn't believe him. They laughed and thought he was joking. The next morning, the angels urged Lot, his wife, and his daughters to hurry and leave the city before it was too late. They grabbed them by the hand and led them out of Sodom, telling them to flee to the mountains and not to look back. As they ran, Lot's wife, filled with sorrow for the life she was leaving behind, made a terrible mistake she looked back. In that moment, she turned into a pillar of salt. Lot and his daughters, heartbroken kept running as the sky behind them lit up with fire and smoke. The destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah was fierce and total, just as God had said. Lot and his daughters reached safety in a small town, but they felt alone. Their lives had been turned upside down, and the memory of the lost city weighed heavily on their hearts. Meanwhile, far away, another story of hope was unfolding. Abraham, Lot's uncle, had always trusted God's promises, even when it seemed impossible. God had promised Abraham and his wife, Sarah, a son, but they were very old and Sarah had never been able to have children. They wondered how this could ever happen. One day, three visitors came to Abraham's tent. These visitors were no ordinary men. They were messengers from God. They told Abraham that in one year, Sarah would have a son. Sarah, listening from inside the tent, laughed to herself. She couldn't believe it. At her age, how could she possibly have a baby? But God's word is always true. A year later, just as the visitors had said, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. They named him Isaac, which means laughter because Sarah had laughed when she first heard the promise. Now, her laughter was filled with joy. Isaac's birth was a miracle, a reminder that nothing is too hard for God. Abraham and Sarah were filled with happiness, knowing that God had kept his promise to them. As Isaac grew, life wasn't always easy. There were moments of jealousy and conflict in Abraham's household. Hagar, Sarah's servant, had a son named Ishmael, and Sarah worried about Isaac's future. But through it all, God was with Abraham, guiding him and reassuring him that Isaac was the child through whom his promises would be fulfilled. One day, God told Abraham to send Hagar and Ishmael away. Though it was difficult, Abraham trusted God and did as he was told. Hagar and Ishmael wandered in the desert, and soon they ran out of water. Hagar, desperate and heartbroken, sat down crying and fearing for her son's life. But God heard their cries. An angel appeared to Hagar, showing her a well of water and promising that Ishmael too would become the father of a great nation. Hagar's hope was restored, and she and Ishmael survived, knowing that God was watching over them. Through the ups and downs, one thing was clear. God's plans were always bigger and better than anyone could imagine. Whether through the destruction of Sodom or the birth of Isaac, God's hand was at work, shaping the future in ways that no one could foresee. Even when things seemed dark, God's light was always shining, offering hope, protection, and the promise of new beginnings. Prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for always keeping your promises, even when we doubt. Help us to trust in your plans and to remember that nothing is too hard for you guide us through the difficult times and give us strength to hold on to your word. Let your love fill our hearts and help us share that love with others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.